Hey guys, Frank from Frankie P Studios here. Um, I have a little drum tutorial um, trick to show you guys. Um, if you ever are trying to get your drums to sound good, or um, how I mix drums, and if you send your sam and you send your um, band files to me, and the drums weren't recorded perfectly, like not the either the mic was a little off, or um, basically if you can't go back and re-record it, um, I have a pretty um, it's it's a pretty cool trick that you can use for um, getting your drums to sound really good. Let me show you a mix that I'm doing right now. I'm not going to play the full mix. I'm just going to play the drum set. Um, it's just part of the verse. Um, check it out. All right, so pretty cool. It sounds really punchy. Um, not really all that muddy, um, and I'm not completely done, but it's 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 coming out pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. What I did was the biggest thing I want to show you is the snare drum. Now this snare drum, check it out. All right, it's a good sounding snare drum. That wasn't the snare drum that came with this recording. The snare drum that came with this recording is this. So really tinny. Um, it's labeled snare top, so they only sent the top of the mic, um, which is kind of not really usable if you don't have the snare on the bottom to kind of blend it with. So what I did is there's this program that you can sample drums and a lot of DAWs or digital audio workstations or whatever recording software you use has I actually didn't use Pro Tools I went through Logic because they're um, if any of you guys are used to Logic the instruments and the software that comes with them is ridiculously um, awesome for drum sounds and basically any other instrument so what I did is I'll zoom in a little bit these little ticks over here they're called transients and basically what it, what drum sampling does is it analyzes um, the transients and changes the sound basically of what's recorded and puts in a sample so like a virtual instrument so basically it analyzed this and then what I did was I picked a you could pick a snare sound it doesn't have to be um, there's not just one sound there's like 20 different snare drums to choose from so you kind of pick it based on whatever the song is um, and this is the sample that I chose. So really, really full snare drum. And for you drummers, um, I'm sure you prefer this one over the, the one before. But check it out what it sounds like with the mix again, with the snare sample. Um, and a lot of times some people will blend the sample with the other recorded one. A lot of big mixers, Chris Lord Al Algae um, has done you know, Green Day, Switchfoot, Hailstorm. Um, all these huge guys, um, and they he actually uses um, drum samples to really get that punch um, when he's mixing. So check this out. This is the just the drum set um, with the snare with the sample. And then this is it with the older one. So it's not terrible, but it's just a little tinny, and sometimes EQing doesn't and compressing doesn't get that roundness out a lot of times. So sometimes you throw in a sample. A lot of people say it's a quick kind of cheating fix, which I would kind of I would agree with you. But the you know it's not really about it's about the end result and how it's going to sound. Um, so if you want me to mix anything, um, and you have drum recordings um, for guitar and bass, it's a little different. It's called reamping. Um, which basically I, I put it through um, one of my guitar amps or bass amps um, and kind of reamp it that way. But drum sampling is when you basically take the virtual instrument and replace it with what was recorded. And you could do that a lot of times with kick, snare. I'm probably going to end up doing that with the toms because if you listen to the toms, oh, I'm sorry. If you listen to the toms, it's not, they're, they don't have this round, nice tom sound that you'd wish to hear. <laughs> So 
So a lot, a lot of the drumstick going on to the head. You got that really, that beater sound instead of that roundness of the toms that, you know, everyone likes to hear. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you got recordings, send them over, um, no matter what quality they are. Um, this came out um, extremely well. Um, now to end this video, I will uh, play the whole drum set and then I'll bypass what I did with the plugins. Till next time.